Hello, welcome to another class with me. Today we look at this particular learning target. I can solve a differential equation with an integrating factor. So when you are given a differential equation of this particular form, dy dx plus px and a y equal to another expression in x, then we can use the integrating factor. All right. So this is how it, uh, how we use it. So we can solve this differential equation by multiplying both sides by the integrating factor. And what is the integrating factor? Well, the integrating factor is this. It's basically e, e to the power of the integration of px, this one, right, dx, to both sides. And in doing so, you'll be able to change this side, which is the left-hand side, into an exact differential equation. Let's illustrate this with an example, all right? So let us compare this differential equation to the standard form, dy dx plus px plus y. And you can see here, here's the y, here's the y. Therefore, px is equal to negative 1, and qx at the moment is e to the power of x. And therefore, Thus, my integrating factor will be e to the power of negative 1 dx, which simply gives me e to the power of negative x. You don't have to put plus c in here. So this is the integrating factor. So we multiply right, e to the power of x, e to the power of negative x, the integrating factor to both sides of the differential equation show equation um, so what we have is that e to the power of negative x dy dx minus e to the power of negative x y equal to e to the power of negative x times e to the power of x you can see that the right hand side is nothing more than 1 the left-hand side, actually, if you really look at the left-hand side, consider y, sorry, g, a function, g, equal to e to the power of negative x and y. And if you do the um, implicit differentiation here, then you get g dash equal to negative e to the power of negative x, y, plus e to the power of negative x dy dx. And you can see that this is exactly the this side. That is the left-hand side. So I can rewrite this as d, the derivative of g, which is e to the power of negative x y dx. So this, so the left-hand side is changed into this because these are the same. Right, so the derivative is that. Right, so now we integrate both sides with respect to x. So this, because this is the derivative, so you integrate that, so we only get e to the power of negative x, y, over here is x plus c. And then y itself is equal to x to the power of e, to the power of x plus e to the power of x times c because this have to be divided by both sides by e to the power of negative x so we get e to the power of x e to the power of x so here's the answer thank you very much bye bye